What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back. I gotta put my Pokeball on, but um, I needed to. I was gonna shiny hunt Charmanders again, but I wanted to get Ultra Balls, and we are so egregiously close to getting Ultra Balls that uh, that's what we're doing in this episode. We're gonna take on the Celadon City Gym. So we're back here. If you don't know how to get here, you come all the way south, and there will be a tree to cut here. One thing I wanted to do real quick before we actually did that is talk to this girl who's staring in the corner. Oh, shouldn't I be able to reach the gym from here? Oh, if I would just talk to her. Okay. Point in case is that uh, up here, you're going to see the condominiums. Just right over here. Right here are the condominiums. Brock was standing outside of them. Um, and so he talked to me while I was in the middle of trying to start shiny hunting. Uh, essentially he just gives you a tea and some pewter city crunchies and then tells you he, because he gave you the tea, doesn't have a way to get back and pretty much says good work on, you know, doing the other gyms. That's, that's it. That's all he does. There's really no point to it. I would have reset if there was actually something to it, but he kind of just interrupted me when I walked by. So, uh, we also talked about how he came to this gym and none of the ladies would give him any chance. So we have a creepy old dude sitting outside. Haha, <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. It's an all-female gym, my dude. You ain't gotta be creepy outside. Alright, so right after you beat this gym, you will get, uh... You will get, uh, whatchamacallit? Ultra Balls. Oh, so you want to challenge the challenge Erica, the gym leader? Have you know, we only let trainers with cute Pokemon enter the gym. Do you have one? Here, let me see. Do you consider Mew cute? Let's see. Huh, Mew? It's cute. Super cute. Can I pet it just a bit, please? Oh, it feels so good. I just want to bury my face in its belly. It smells good, too. I love it. Fine, then. I guess I have to let you into the Celadon City gym, seeing as you brought a cute Pokemon and all. All right, we're in, boys and girls. It's definitely Arcanine time. It's God-tier Arcanine time. This is still one of the cooler gems in all of Pokemon. Are you going to battle me? Ah, you're the one who I saw earlier. I'll show you my cute Pokemon. I believe this is an all-grass type. I guess I could be wrong. could just be an all-cute type Pokemon. Last K. Oddish. Alright, Arcanine. Let's do this. Uh, let's just do Flamethrower. It's appropriate level battle here, but Arcanine not only is in an evolution, but we gave it like 30 candies, so I'm sure... I'm sure it's just going to cook all of these plants. 179 XP. Last K. You're too rough. 500. That's it? That's all you gave me is $562? Is... I tried to move my chair over. I didn't think I was centered, so I was like, move my chair over, and I bumped the desk. So, do I cut these? Yep. Uh, I want to fight the beauty, because I'm sure she has a bunch of money. We're going to need the money after we, uh, and this is, there's a lot of trainers in here. Oh, welcome. I was getting bored. All right. Beauty may or my, depending on how you read that execute, not even an executor. I could have just played with anything this episode. I don't really need to play with this, but... Let's flamethrower. There we go. I mean, we're just gonna mop the floor. This My Arcanine is like... It's literally elite tier. I wonder what its IVs are. So, 1740 bucks. Can I even look at the IVs yet on Pokemon? Uh, check summary. 
more detail. I want to reorder the moves. Let me reorder to that. Okay. Um, I have no idea how to check IVs. I don't even think you can yet. Yeah, I don't even think I can check IVs. That special defense in, is pretty low. That's all I know. Okay. Let's go fight this beauty up here. I, I already know you're not giving me any money, so I don't want to fight you. Look, look, see my Pokemon? I like the grass type. I like how they're easy to, ra to raise. I'll show you at the end of this episode where I'll be doing the shiny hunting for Charmanders. Alright. Arcanine v. Oddish. Let's use Heat Wave. We haven't used Heat Wave yet at all. I don't even think I've used it in any battle. That's not terrible looking. Not bad. Critical. <laughs> Critical hit. I'm going to use Heat Wave again because I want to see if it does one shot or not because it will make a bit of a di difference. And this is a good test. It's against a Weepin' Bell, which is a second evolution of Bellsprout, obviously. Hit the Heat Wave. Super effective. Critical hit. Weepin' Bell is out of here. Alright. How much money did you get? 1740. Uh, that's not a bad. It'll probably be uh, like 6 or 6. Not six. It'll be like five um, Ultra Balls, something like that. Maybe six. I think they're 500 or 600 apiece, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's a beauty. I want to fight her. What's your hobby? Yes? Let's battle Pokemon. All right. Beauty Lori. Gloom. All right. Flamethrower, I guess. I don't know why I'm like thinking about it super hard. I'm I'm sure both of them would one shot. Gloom is out of here. I mean, this is going to be the easiest gym to date. It's not even going to be funny. War Turtle to 35. We're almost got Charizard and uh, Blastoise. We're almost there. Oh, Ace. We definitely want to fight Ace Trainer. Welcome to the Celestown City Gym. You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. Well, you're all using Grass type, and I have a God Tier Fire type Pokemon, so I'm not really worried, Ace Trainer Mary. Weepin' Bell. Heat Wave. Just mix it up so we get different animations as I one-shot all the grass-type Pokemon in this gym. Give me that... Oh... We're so close to that char to the Charmander level up. I believe 36 is the evolution for Charizard, which is kind of funny. We're going to get Charizard, and then I'm going to catch a shiny Charmander, and then then we'll have to level that up to be Charizard. It's kind of funny how this has gone. Super effective. And that's Ace Trainer Mary down. She should give me a nice little... So this might be it right here. Nope. No, no level up. Oh, beaten. 3200 bucks. That's what I like to see. Um, I'm going to guess that the far left one is the one that I actually need to be going to, but we'll see. Hmm. I think, uh, once again, I think the far left one is the correct one. Yeah. The far left one was wrong, wrong one there, but it's the right one here. Yeah. 
Okay, we're here. I beat all of the trainers that gave me any significant amount of money. I don't necessarily think it's hugely necessary that I fight, like, the the picnickers and campers. They give you, like, no money. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Did you just fall asleep on me? Oh, dear. I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of Celadon City Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are all of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well. But I shall not lose. I'm about to smoke you and, like... I bet I can't one-shot all three of her Pokemon, so I'm going to say five moves. I'm going to guess five. No more than six. There's no way we have to use six. Why is why does this thing do this? It annoys me so much. It, like, gets off track, and then it, like, doesn't want to run correctly here. Okay. Let's heat wave to start this bad boy off. Level 33, we've been one-shotting... Okay, we one-shot it. Okay, well, maybe we will just cakewalk through this. This is not what I expected, but I uh, guess we're going to cakewalk. Kangaskhan to 23. Man, that Charmander's got to be... Or the Charmeleon's got to be so close. So close. I'm going to start naming my shinies. Um, just something to help me remember what, I mean, because I'll probably double out shiny Charmanders in the future and stuff like that. So, my point is, is I'm going to name them stuff. Like, Arcanine, I'll name something to do with being first, or is something like that. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet, I'll figure it out. But, point is, is I, I'm going to name it something in, I'm going to nickname it when we find the, the person that lets you nickname. Okay, we might get this done in three attacks, I don't know. Uh, yep, yep, yep. There's the sweet three shot to beat up gym leader. Whew, my Arcanine is just too too high tier. I mean, that's kind of crazy. 31. It's just going to cakewalk through the entire game for me almost at this point. Really? Charmeleon didn't level up from that? Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. $5,400. Thank you. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. <laughs> yeah. You got a rainbow badge from Erica. A rainbow badge raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you to level 50 for Pokemon that you have received from other trainers. And here, if you'd like, please also take this with you. Mega Drain, nice. I bet Mew can learn that. TM53 contains Mega Drain. Half the damage it inflicts is drained from the target to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? <laughs> Yes, I would. Thank you, Erica. That should also mean that I have Ultra Balls unlocked. This creepy dude still ha he's still hanging out out here, bro. Bro, you cannot be that creepy. My Jigglypuff has an adamant nature. It's easy to raise its attack stat, but not so easy to raise its special attack. Its double slap is a real slap in the face. <laughs> okay. Chop this down. Alright. So we still need to take on the rocket hideout. But I think that is uh, best saved for another episode. Is this the floor... No, this is the... T no, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the guy. Ultra Balls, let's go. Give me... A, a, give me a hundred of these. Give me a hundred of these bad boys. Thank you. Ten Premier Balls. Beautiful. We have some stuff to sell as well. I'm tempted to just sell another rare candy because they truly don't matter. I got another one. I went up top at the top of Celadon City and picked up some items. There was nothing exciting there, so clearly didn't miss anything. Um, but, like, the rare candy's worth five grand, and with how easy it is to level up in this game, I almost just feel like it's worth the money. Like, the money is better than anything. How did I get 100 Pokeballs? 
I truly don't know how I have 100 Pokeballs. I literally, I guess from beating trainers, but I literally don't know how on earth I have 100 Pokeballs. That's whatever, though. Um, we need to buy lures. Oops. Did I get better lures now? Yeah, we got super lures. So, I'm going to assume they're war worth it. I guess I should probably look this up. Let me look it up. Lures versus... Lure versus super lure. Let's go. Okay, Pokemon Let's Go. Lure, super lure, and mega lure. Okay, is there just a simple little chart? Okay, so lure is 100 steps, super is a 200, and max is 250. So, definitely want these. Um... 50? I'll go with 50, I guess. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing, but 50. I need to get enough to buy 10 more Ultra Balls, so let's get 900 bucks. There, that gets us close. Um, there we go. Leave me with seven dollars. I went from like a hundred grand to no money. Oops, almost bought great balls. That's not what I want. Oh, I had enough. I totally did that math wrong. Guess we're buying twenty. Okay, so we have one hundred and twenty of those. For super lures, we have fifty. Okay, I'm gonna get seven super lures. And 10 Ultra Balls. I think that's the correct way to do this. 10 Ultra Balls. And now I think we got plenty to do the Charmander hunting. So let's go ahead and head to the Charmander. <laughs> so one cool thing. You can actually ride Kangaskhan around. So I will show that. Pokemon Party. Kangaskhan. Take out of the ball. Look at this. You get to ride around Kangaskhan on your back. Or with Kangaskhan. With you on Kangaskhan's back. Like I really like this. It's really cool. And Pikachu rides in the pouch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need to get a shiny Kangaskhan. That needs to happen. That is next. Charmander's first because I really want him. But oh my gosh. Pikachu rides in the pouch. I didn't even notice that. Pikachu rides in the pouch. Oh. Oh. You got me. I got, I got to get a shiny Kangaskhan. I don't know how much Kangaskhan will hang out in the party. I have too many Pokemon that I want. Like, if we get... I guess Charmander doesn't take a spot. And I don't need Venusaur. I don't really need Blastoise either. So it's... I can mix up the team a little bit here. But that Shiny King is kind of... Oh my gosh, I did not know Pikachu rode around in its pouch. It makes it so much better. I thought Pikachu just rode on your shoulder, but no, this... This is just fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. Alright, we're almost back. Go through Lavender Town. I also fought these people uh, because it was the only way to get back here to attempt the Charmander. And obviously it didn't, didn't work because I don't have Charmander. Okay. So I have pretty much my little area that I do this at. I already figured it out. So it's pretty rare to actually find the Pikachu in here or the Charizard in, or Charmander in here. Okay. I don't want you out because you just are annoying in the cave when you're trying to lure Pokemon. So I just want to write. I'm going to use up my regular lures first. 
so where's the ladder that I used? I gotta remember how to get back to where I want to be. Okay. So we go down here. I think there's a little bit to this. I gotta go a little bit of distance. I have no idea if I fought this dude before. Okay, so here's where I do my shiny hunting for the area. So, you sit here, and you can kind of walk around, go up here, see if anything spawns in. Come back down here. Sit here for a second. You can look and see what spawns in. Probably won't even get a Charmander to spawn. Come back up here. Got a Rhyhorn. A chop. So I'm going to head upstairs. And then when I get up here, I'm going to walk to about right here and let things spawn in and see... I mean, is anything going to spawn in? It's really weird. Usually, yeah, there we go. There's another spawn. Okay, so there are our spawns. I know there's no Charmander. So back down the ladder I go. And so now I get to look again for the Charmander. I mean, they're a super rare spawn. It's going to take a really... It's going to take a, a decent amount of time to actually get to the combo that I need to get to. I got to a combo of three and then one ran away because I didn't have Ultra Balls. Or I didn't want to use my Ultra Balls yet. But you will expend a lot of lures doing this because you actually got to walk around. And hope a Charmander spawns. I might actually chain Rhyhorns until I get to the Charmanders because... These little idiots don't spawn. Pretty much we'll wait for one more spawn of something. So there's a Geodude spawn. I'll go back upstairs. I pretty much have had no luck finding any up top here. So I'll usually see one spawn and then head back down. But you can wait up there. But I have not seen a single Charmander up top. So I've been spending all of my time down here looking for the Charmander. And so pretty full down here, so I'm going to head back up top. And then hit this and head back down. I know that wasn't a Charmander. Oh, there's a Charmander right here. We got our first Charmander. So definitely want to Ultra Ball it. And because I'll be using handheld for most of this to get the shiny to appear. But for now, we're using this. I want to... Okay, didn't even throw my Ultra Ball. I didn't get it ready. That's why. And really, it attacked right when I was going to get a an excellent throw. Really, Charmander? Really? Okay, and it broke out. This is why I want to do it handheld, so I'm guaranteed the the excellent throw. Because these things break out like nobody's business, and I can't hit it with this stupid thing. Oh my gosh, Charmander, chill. Chill, what are you doing? Chill out. Oh my gosh, chill out. Chill out, Charmander. Just wasted like 10 Ultra Balls on this stupid thing. And it didn't even catch it. See, this is the issue with chaining Charmanders is you gotta pray it actually catches. And for some reason that was a terrible throw. And that's not even an excellent. This is precisely why I want to do it on handheld. Because you're guaranteed... You're guaranteed an excellent throw... Okay, there we go. Okay, we got it. But this is why Charmander's not the not the most fun thing to try and farm. Actually kind of a nightmare to, to chain. Like, actually a nightmare. Because they're really, really annoying to catch. I'm coming down here. Try to get one spawn here. Might be too many on the map. Nope, there's a gold bat, so. So I'll run into the gold bat on accident. 
Try to get one more Charmander spawn. Probably won't get it. Try to get one more here. That's not a Charmander. See, if I can get four really quick spawns like that, I'll just go right back up top. I won't even mess with it. Geodude up here, not even worth it. Golbats, Machop. I'm trying to walk just slightly far enough north there to get the despawns so that then when I walk back down here, more stuff spawns, obviously. <laughs> and for future, I will do live shiny things, but while we're still playing through the game, um, I want to spend the time I have to record actually recording and not shiny hunting. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, couldn't split the gap there. But yeah, this is the hard part. You got to get to the 11 chain of Charmanders, and then a bunch will start spawning. But getting to that 11 chain is a nightmare. As you can see, clearly see. You're just, you're at the mercy of the game spawns. And, like, Kangaskhan is a rare spawn. So that's the one issue, is that there are other rare Pokemon that can spawn. And so, kind of at a kind of crossroads. But this is better than Route 4. Route 4, I was, like, struggling to get to, like, a, cha a 1, to find 1 without, without uh, a chain of another Pokemon. So, okay, definitely got to go up. There's, like, 6 already here. And like I said, usually I just go up there and go right back down because rarely have I found one up there. Okay, so now we got to use we got to use our super lures. We got 57 of those. Definitely will take an insane amount to actually run out of super lures. Sometimes I'll walk over here. It adds a lot of steps, so I don't love it. Oops. But it might be something that I do a little bit more frequently. So there was an Onyx. I might sit here for a second and see if something... So Geodude spawned, not what I wanted, back up top. There's a Machop spawn up top. And this is pretty much all I'll be doing to try to find enough Charmanders to get them to spawn on a regular basis. Because right now, obviously, they're not going to spawn. But I believe all you got to do is get it to a Catch Cane of 11... And then they'll start spawning more. But we're just going to work on getting that there. And so I'm going to do that tonight. I'm pretty much done recording for the night. So I'm going to be working on finding Shiny Charmander. Obviously, I will record another video if I do, in fact, find a Shiny Charmander. But for the time being, this is what I'll be doing till then. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Drop the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode where hopefully we are catching a shining Charmander. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.